Hey folks, David Creative Craft House to show you something that I'm really pleased to introduce. I really enjoy uh, visiting uh, historical items um, that, that are very interesting and just don't seem to be made anymore. I couldn't find any on the internet, for example. And these are the, this particular one is called the Janai Lucas Rods, and I, actually I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, but the Janai Lucas Rods. And they were from the 1890s, and they were a, a calculator, and they were first, the first real uh, advancement to Napier's Bones, which we also make and sell. Napier's Bones by John Napier is from the early 1600s. So, you know, it was well over two centuries before these came along and made multiplication and division, division easier than by using uh, Napier's Bones. Um, uh, and what I've done here to make these things, I think, both uh, attractive and, and durable and, and really quite usable, is I've made them pretty good size. Each rod here, and on this multiplication set, there are 11 rods. There's also a division set. i just, just pull that into the picture here, um, which look totally different, don't they? And they're actually, the way you use them is slightly different, but very easy. Uh, and, and these are the division rods. The division rods have a... Uh, 12 well, rods because you have remainders in um, uh, division that you don't have to deal with in multiplication. Okay, the remainder rod goes on the end. Uh, normally, you're doing an item. All right, gonna, I'm going to uh, talk to you a little bit about how these are used very quickly, and you can find more information on the internet. Um, uh, also, uh, each set, uh, I'm selling the sets individually, will come in this nice little box. You see, uh, this, this, the handle says division, and the handle says multiplication. And it's there, we make them, all, all this is made in our Florida shop, and the, the boxes we make out of uh, floorboard, which creates a great deal of weight and durability, and you can also clean it. Uh, it's got this nice uh, grooved top here, the top slides off, and then here you see um, the rods packed in the box. The, 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 ro the rods are wood, they're alder, they're cut with the grain, so they're quite strong. And of course they're a quarter inch thick, this is not thin wood, which I think is necessary to get to get the uh, strength that we want. The, the Everything is laser engraved on here, it's not ink, it's um, in, you know engraved into the wood, so uh, it's going to last. Uh, I would say lifetimes. <laughs> All right, how do we use them? Let's first uh, look at the uh, multiplication uh, one. And pardon me while I try to get a little closer. Okay, I've set my rods up to find the answer to the uh, question of what is 39,852 times 6. Now, uh, in the times, when I'm working in this number times 6, I'll use this row. If I was doing times 5, I'd use this row and so forth. In this process, you always start on the far end, and this is going to give you the ones digit, the last digit to the answer. And it is always the top number of that row, so the, the last digit of the answer is a 2. Now, at this point on, I'm just going to follow the pointer. The next digit in the tens place would be a 1. Following the pointer, the next digit is a 1 in the hundreds place. Following the pointer in front of the 1, the next digit is a 9, then a 3, and finally a 2. So the answer to the question is 239,112. Really that, that simple. Just read across the, uh, the, the results. Uh, pretty slick, huh? There are some you know, interesting things going on uh, which can be helpful in teachers in explaining the concepts of math and base 10 to their students. Um, you know, why are these arrows working? Well, you know, 6 times 2, which is the last rod here, you can't see it, is 12. The last digit would be in the 1's column would be a 2. And of course we'd, we'd carry over a 1 into the 10's column. And you'll notice this drops one, one place. To, to find the next answer. So you can carry on with that concept and you can learn a lot more about these rods from uh, sources on the internet. All right, the division rods just out of the way, a little bit uh, different. And I've set this here just somewhat randomly. I've pulled the rods um, 20, I don't know if you can see. A little bit. I've taken the rods um, two, four, three, eight, one. 
24,381. And let's suppose I want to divide that by uh, 7. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, we actually work um, left to right from the front to the back in case of multiplication, in case of division. So the answer here would be um, starting from the front. Oh, again, you'd start at the top. So the answer that there's a zero in the first column. So, that, but that leads me to a three. The three leads me to a four, following these lines. The four leads me to an eight. The eight leads me to a, th a three. And there's one more rod that I need, which I didn't put up here, because we have potentially to deal with the remainders in, um, in division. So the three leads me to a remainder of zero. So the seven happens to go uh, into this remainder zero. So the seven happens to go into this number uh, just by chance uh, perfectly. So the answer is 3,483. 3,483 times 7 equals uh, uh, 24,381. Uh, really that simple. Um, and again, very interesting. These lines are laser etched, same quarter inch, same very long length, about 11 inches, and I, I showed you the box. So uh, just, a, just a brief overview of the, of the, uh, the, 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 the concept and the rods and made here in our Florida shop, and I hope this is something that you can enjoy.